Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In this video, you're going to feature this unit. This is the New X Optimal Air. So I'm going to go through the unit uh, very briefly, um, very interesting. So this is how the guitar sounds like bypassing this unit altogether. Nothing is turned on, the preamp is not on, the IRs are not on. Right? 
Now let's kick in the preamp and see what we can do with the sound to enhance it a little bit. Can okay, add in your reverb. Okay, I'm gonna cut the reverb first. What the fact of the matter is that this unit is totally dependent on the IR, so I will not do too much to the preamp section with the EQs and all until I have the IR loaded. In which case, I already do is to depress the switch and then I can select uh, which IRs I want. So I'm going to uh, take off the preamp first and choose an IR that I like. I'm going to use a hummingbird right now. Okay, let's hear how the hummingbird sounds like without the uh, preamp. So I'm going to kick in the preamp. Cut down the lows a little bit. Now as you might know, um, hummingbirds, you know, they sound pretty big because of the dreadnought size. And uh, that's why you have a lot of low ends. Now let's just skip to, uh, let me see what we have here, a J45, a Gibson J45, I'm going to bring out the bass back again. Now this is pretty nice, okay, so... Um, As a reference point, let's hear how it sounds like without the IRs and the preamp. With the IRs and the preamp. Let's go to the next one. We have a D45. Alright, let's hear how it sounds like. Without the IRs. With the IR and the preamp. Let's go to the next one. This is the HD28, Martin HD28, which I think I reviewed a couple of videos back. It lacks definition, so I will probably bring up the highs just a little bit. Again, flat. Then the next one would be the, um, let me see now. Yeah, Taylor 814. Again, without the IRs.
Now, earlier on, I did a uh, what you call a capture of this guitar itself uh, using a, a tube mic and uh, recording it with this unit. So I had it down as um, HP Pick, right? So basically, I, I actually um, sampled this using a pick. Um, but I'm gonna play with fingers first, and you hear how it sounds like. Without the IRs. With the IRs. Now on the top panel you can actually see uh, you have the gain where you can bring up the overall uh, volume. You have uh, the bass, middle, treble and uh, this is where you select uh, which IR. All you need to do to go into preset mode is just to hit this two button at the same time and it's back to preset mode. You can save uh, whatever IRs and settings that you have onto presets. So there's a couple of presets here where you can actually choose. So in this case, um, if you need to go back to the IR selection, all you need to do is to hit this two button again and you're back to uh, the IR selection again. Okay, the back of the unit, you can just see or uh, the power supply in and then you have a input output send and return our uh, send and return you can actually uh, hook up to uh, auxiliary uh, effects if you need to at the same time the return is used when you are sampling a guitar now i've been switching back and forth from stage work to studio recording and i've always um, found it to be a little bit uh, disconcerting that i could not get are the sound that I'm hearing in the studio when I'm recording my, my acoustic guitars. Like in this place, you know, when I'm recording my, my D35 or even this Harley Benton that I have, or, you know, my, my Taylor. And I couldn't duplicate that sound or replicate that sound when I'm on stage. On stage, I will have to work with uh, whatever pickups that I have on those guitars that I play. Like for example, on my GS Mini, I have the Arabex Lyric. And it is, it's good, it's a good, it's a good pickup. It has a mic in it and it comes pretty close to a mic up guitar. And then there are the other guitars that I wanted to play but couldn't do so because of uh, the, the pickups that they have in it, which, uh, well, basically just doesn't cut it. Uh, and um, yeah, so when this thing came along and when I saw a couple of videos about this and read a little bit, but I was like pretty, okay, this might work and to give it a try. And I want to thank NewX for sending this uh, unit to me for this review. I want to thank them so much. Now basically the unit comes in two sections. The IR loader, which is the impulse response loader, and the preamp section. Now the preamp section is pretty cool because it comes in with three banner EQ, the low, mid, and high. And according to the developer, it's based on a certain um, preamp model of uh, by Rupert Neve, which is pretty awesome by itself, you know. And on real life, yes, uh, the EQ does uh, work. It does respond really well. And then you have a, a overall gain, so you can actually control the overall uh, level of this unit. And then you have a reverb, a built-in reverb. Now the reverb is not something to cry about or something to, to boast about. It's a decent reverb. It's not like a plate reverb or one of those convulsion reverbs. It's just a nice, um, sort of a, a longer than spring reverb, okay? A, a, a little bit better quality than a normal spring reverb that you hear, which suffice if you need to have a reverb in your setup, which I don't because normally I will leave the reverb to the FOH. And then of course you have the IR loaders. Now the IR loaders uh, comes in with uh, three uh, format for each individual um, capture. Like for example, you have uh, the Hummingbird, the, the Gibson Hummingbird, the, the Gibson J45, the Martin D45, as well as the Martin uh, HD28, as well as the Taylor A14. You know, and every capture has three format. 
except for the Taylor A14, I guess. You have one for the magnetic pickup of an acoustic guitar, where you know you stick one of those magnetic pickups across your sound hole, and then you have a magnetic pickup for guitars, in which case it's your normal humbucker or your or single call. And then you have the Paisio, which um, most guitar, well, those that comes in with those pickups that I was talking about do have Paisios, and that's where you use them for. Also, uh, guitars like the uh, PRS, uh, the custom uh, semi-solid, where you have it pays you on the bridge, you can use that too. Pretty cool. And uh, the captures are really well done um, for the IRS, and uh, there are many nuances that you can uh, tweak uh, with the uh, editor, which you can download for New X. And you can actually blend your IR with your preamp sound from your guitar. So with this additional cell EQ, you actually have another option to kind of like fine tune uh, your sound. In which case, I would recommend that you put everything flat on your guitar. You know, some of the guitars like the Takamis have a whole band of EQ set to play with. You can probably set it all flat and then work with this EQ here. Or, either way, you know, just try to compensate one another. And then you can blend in the IRs to your preference, you know. I, I find that the, uh, the, the Martin D45 as well as the Gibson J45 are pretty, pretty nice, pretty neat. And then you have the ability to capture your own IR, in which case I captured this guitar, um, this highly vented guitar. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, you know, basically you stick on a, a condenser mic and then you hook that mic to your preamp and then from the preamp it goes into this unit return jack. And at the same time you plug in this guitar with uh, an input into here and then get the volume kind of squared away because everything is shown in this unit and then that's it you know the only time that you the only thing that you need to do is to activate the capture mode in which case all you need to do is take out the power press the IR switch and put on the power again and you're in capture mode you know it's basically quite straightforward how does it sound now I'm pretty impressed with sound the sound that uh, I can get with the blend and everything now the song already, the songs that you hear in the beginning are all done with the capture of this particular HP uh, guitar, which is pretty nice. Um, and with the D45, with the Hummingbird, you know you can get a, a, a sort of a a, a myriad of uh, texture that you can play around with to enhance your sound on stage. And I'm pretty sure that this will work pretty well uh, when I'm on stage. And I'm going to use this in the upcoming stream. Uh, concert, um, I think it's gonna happen next week, so we'll see. I guess this unit is for those guitarists who wants to enhance their acoustic guitar sounds on stage. Um, there are many ways to do this. Um, I've seen a lot of guitarists sticking a mic as well as um, having a line out and having a combination of these two, in which case I think this will probably uh, pose a, a, a more feasible solution to this whole uh, situation. So tell me what do you think about this unit and put a comment in the comment section down below. All right? And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel. Welcome to this channel, join this channel. And uh, I want to thank my patrons uh, for supporting this channel. And if you want to support this channel too, please join the patrons. So in the meantime, you guys take care of yourself. I know there are lockdowns going on everywhere. Um, it's hard to be in a lockdown, I know. So I, I hope this little videos that I'm doing would kind of cheer you guys up. But uh, in the meantime, you guys, please stay safe. All right? Um, practice social distancing, wear a mask. All right? And I'll see you again real soon. You guys, take care of yourself. Ciao.